What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Comedian Prophetess. And I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, <clears throat> I am a prophetic tear reader. Angel number 10 on the clock, 11 and 12. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tear reader. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I just had a uh, soda here. <clears throat> But again, if you're new to my channel, um, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. And angel number 44 on the clock, I also read odd and even angel numbers. And I'm going to do a reading for the collective. I'm going to do a reading for divine feminine, divine masculine, whatever's going on in Karmicville. I, before I started this reading i heard karmic family karmic mother karmic father possibly siblings as well let's pray holy spirit holy angels archangel michael archangel raziel archangel gabriel archangel metrion i ask you to sing your greatest white light and please give me clear and precise messages clear and precise messages protect my crown chakra protect my throat chakra protect me as i do this message father god somebody is scared Somebody's mother or somebody's father here is scared. Somebody is scared for their life. Somebody wants to know what you know. I feel like somebody's been dealing with a karmic ass mother or a karmic ass father or a karmic parental figure. Somebody wants to come in and give you an apology, but they don't know how. You could have had a rough childhood or a rough upbringing, but somebody wants to come in and apologize because they're going through karma. I just seen the will of fortune and they've been some type of devil in your life. This person, this could be a wicked ass, evil ass mother. Or a wicked ass, evil ass father. Somebody that has done spell work on you all your goddamn life. Somebody is absolutely evil here. One second. I feel like there could be some type of court case going on. Okay. Y'all, hold on. God damn, y'all. Y'all see this goddamn smoke right here? It is like blowing in my eyes. One second. My eyes is burning. Hold on. I'm going to take that as an omen. So this karmic mother could be doing a lot of crying or this karmic father could be doing a lot of crying or something. I'm just hearing parental figure. I'm also hearing your whole entire family could be involved with something. I feel like something has been a secret. I feel like you're going to, there's going to be some type of secret that's revealed to you. We have the six of swords here. I feel like you sailed on the common waters. You moved forward, forward with your life or you moved forward with something. I'm hearing information. Somebody feels like you have some top secret information or somebody wants to know, do you know? That's what I'm hearing. Trust your intuition. I feel like you can intuitively be picking up on something, but you're at a distance. Somebody is at a distance here. Now, I don't know if you're at a distance from this mother or you could be at a distance from this mother or this father. You could be at a distance from your family or something like that. But whoever this karmic mother is. Or this father, but I'm seeing a mother with this queen of wands, this parental figure, whoever this person is. I don't like this energy. Y'all, do I ever like these energies? I say that every video, don't I? They want to know, do you know something? I'm hearing switched at birth. I've been picking up on that heavily. I've been picking up on that in several week readings. Somebody here could have been switched at birth or somebody could have been adopted or somebody don't know who their real mother or father is or somebody could have stole your ass from a hospital. We have the justice card here. Somebody is worried. I'm seeing somebody like bite their nails. I'm also picking up on something going on with an inheritance again. Yeah, we have the eight of swords here. We have the judgment card here. Listen, your family ain't shit. I'm going to just keep it a buck in a thousand. We got the two of cups here. Yeah, there's somebody else in your family that work with this mother. Now, this is, so that's why I keep hearing mother or father. So there, your father could have worked with this mother or a sibling. But somebody partnered up with a mother here to steal some type of great fortune, some type of inheritance, to keep up some type of illusions about who you are, this empress, to also keep up some type of illusions over the justice system. That's what I'm hearing. And I'm also hearing they've been keeping up an illusion over the community. Okay, I feel like... Like whatever illusion that they kept up that was dealing with the justice system had something to do with some inheritance. And I know this reading may sound kind of repetitive with some of the other, other readings that I've done similar to this. But I, Spirit keeps telling me to talk about it. I keep having to pick up on it because obviously there's, some, there's something else that needs to come out. 
okay but i feel like some type of inheritance was stolen from you but i'm also hearing somebody could be biting their nails somebody is nervous somebody is extremely nervous because somebody wants to know if this could be do they do i think wow this is sad this is sad somebody's karmic mother or whoever raised you now don't get me wrong this don't have to be a biological mother this could be like an adoptive parent this could be a foster parent that i don't know you could have been in foster care or something i feel like somebody wants to know maybe you maybe you could be so maybe you can intuitively be picking up on something maybe you want to know i'm here you know you know how when you watch tiktok and stuff or instagram and and you know that little theme song when they be like um how would they know how would they know? Yeah, I feel like somebody's mother or whoever raised you or maybe your whole inside your family, somebody wants to know, do you know that you're adopted? Or do you know that you, I feel like somebody could really be from overseas. I've been picking up on this. Somebody can live in America. Angel number 554 and 555 on the clock and 556. Somebody could be from, somebody can live in America, but they really are from overseas. Or somebody is overseas, but they really live in America. Or they, they should be in America or something like that. Somebody is going to move overseas. Okay, I feel like somebody's karmic mother is about to be taken out. Okay. Somebody's karmic mother, as well as a sibling or a father, is about to be taken out because I feel like there's several people. Yeah, we got this king of swords here. I feel like this could be a father or this could be a brother or this could be a sister. This could be, there's several people here, but I'm hearing whoever this karmic mother is, they're the ring leader of something. This is somebody that has done spell work on you your whole entire life. Somebody is absolutely evil here for no reason, but jealousy and envy. Okay, I feel like they te they kept up some type of illusion dealing with some type of inheritance over the justice system. I feel like you were lied to your whole life. Damn, I'm starting to hear that song again. I said, I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. Queen of Pentacles. I never meant to make you cry. Moon card. Ten of cups. But tonight, I'm cleaning out my closet. Angel number 707 on the clock. Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have. I've been protested in, I forgot the words Eminem said. Pick his signs for my wicked, wicked rhymes. Look at the time. I forgot what the hell he said. <laughs> yeah, this is sad. I feel like somebody is sick here. Somebody's karmic mother is sick here. There's several people that's sick here. It's not just this karmic mother. This is, it's, it's, it's your family. It's your whole entire family is sick. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you do know. Or and there's a lot of stuff that you don't know. But what you do know, if you if you're worried about something, trust your intuition. If you dreamed about something, or you've been curious about something, or your spirit guides let you know let you know something, you're right. You're right on the money. Whatever the hell you've been feeling intuitively about this karmic mother in your family is a hundred percent accurate. That's what spirit wants me to let you know. It's accurate. And I feel like that's why this motherfucking karmic mother or in this father, because this is the ring leader here, this karmic mother. That's why this karmic mother, this father, this sibling, this brother, this sister, the people in the community and other family members, everybody biting their nails. Everybody's scared and wary because some they want to know what you know. Oh, my fucking God. Y'all know what I just heard. Y'all know what I just heard? Your whole entire family got a hit out on you. Bingo. That's exactly what the fuck this reading is about. See, I knew it was something else. So, basically, your, your karmic mother here is a ring leader, right? Okay, they're a ring leader. They, they, they lied to the judicial system about who you are. You are an empress. You're a divine being, male or female here. You're divine, okay? You sitting on your throne here. You could be at a distance with the six of swords. You stayed on the common waters. You moved forward. You could be at a distance or you could be in the same proximity as these individuals spirit is telling me if you're in the same proximity of these individuals you need to get out and get out now because they got a hit out on you because they don't want to go to jail this karmic mother and your father or these all uh, let me this your whole entire family fuck that these your whole entire family this these these this karmic ass demonic family they don't want to go to jail for intentionally stealing some type of money or some type of inheritance i'm hearing you royalty you could have actually been born into wealth i feel like somebody is gonna find out i'm hearing somebody should have got a dna test 
but when your mother got pregnant with you, your father should have got a DNA test. I feel like somebody, I feel like, I feel like your father could possibly know that, that you're not their child. I feel like somebody could have always had that doubts or somebody could have just signed the birth certificate because they wanted to be a stand up guy or some shit like that. I'm here and somebody just signed the birth certificate and walked away. Either your karmic father walked away from you or they were never there for you. I feel like somebody just, I don't know. Somebody is a loser here. We got the three of swords here. I, I'm hearing tit for tat, tit for tat. A lot of this involves money. A lot of this involves money, man. I feel like there is a hit. There's been a there's been a hit put out on a divine feminine, divine masculine. One second, you guys. Okay. I had to take my earphones out, you guys. My daughter, she be busy. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords here. There's been some type of major betrayal involving you that you don't know about. But see, what Spirit keeps telling me is, is that... What spirit is telling, hold on y'all, let me light some more of my sage, because it's like when I be getting distracted and stuff, I don't, it's like I be, I be multitasking y'all. Make sure y'all hit the like button, okay? Man, this is some sad shit. Your whole entire family got a damn hit out on you. I'm telling you, this is why they got a hit out on you. They got a hit out on you because none of these people want to go to jail for, for stealing your inheritance. Okay, the community was involved with this. Possibly, possibly some local government officials as well was involved with this. Okay. I'm hearing Grand Theft Auto. Somebody could have somebody could have somebody could have left you a car. I'm hearing something about a wheel. So I got Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, cleanse my energy, please. Holy Spirit. I'm hearing, but I'm hearing something about a wheel. So Damn, this is a lot. I'm getting several downloads. So there could be your real mother or your real father could have left you something in the wheel. Okay. I'm hearing, some, man, this is a lot. Spirit, please slow down the downloads. I know y'all be giving them to me, but y'all be killing me going real fast. Your whole entire family is up under judgment. I'm going to reshuffle these cards, okay? You guys, but just know you are this divine being here that this is happening to. The devil, the devil is a lie. The devil is a goddamn lie. This is absolutely pathetic and ridiculous. I feel like your, your karmic mother has lied to you your whole entire life. I'm hearing somebody is royalty and somebody is divinely protected by your ancestors, your spirit guide. Somebody could even be an earth angel here. Okay, one second. I just keep hearing that song. I just keep hearing that song in my head by Eminem. I said, I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry. But tonight I'm cleaning out my closet because I keep hearing him say that verse. Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have. I've been protested in. I forgot what the hell. Pick his signs for my Ricky Rhymes. Yeah, so I feel like you could have been, yo, your character could have been defamed by this bitch. This is an evil witch. I feel like somebody was born to a demonic, karmic ass mother. This might not even be your real mother or it is your real mother. I don't know, but somebody is evil. Somebody is a fucking witch and they've done spell work on you. This empress here, male or female, your hoe inside your life. So, you know, you don't have to be a feminine. You can be a masculine. And they've worked with other people as well. They've also done spell work on other people. Yo, this could be a sibling. This could be a sister, a brother. This could be a father. But I feel like all of these people have worked in cahoots to go against you you okay yeah we got the full card here i feel like you're i feel like you're somewhere carefree hard at work protected mighty your own business or something like that but i'm hearing something this, this this is for some of you not all of you if you're still connected to these family members you need to get out now i'm hearing get out i'm hearing i'm seeing the movie get out some of you may end up having to go into some type of witness protection i've been picking up on this for months okay Somebody is going to have to go into some type of hiding or some type of protection because whoever this karmic mother is, as well as your family members, as well as the community, as well as some of the local government officials, these people have a hit out on you. Okay, but I, who is this hit man? Because what Spirit just told me, all of these people are worried because you've been lied to all of your life. Okay, but I'm hearing whoever this hit man is, this hit man could be, look, there he go. I just seen you, this emperor. Whoever this hitman is, this hitman could be a private investigator. Y'all, I keep picking up on this storyline. Okay, somebody want to know. Um, somebody want to know, do you, I'm, I'm getting song downloads at the same time as regular downloads. Come on, spirit. But um, I'm hearing, act like you know, act like you know. Yeah, that gospel song by the uh, Pace sisters, however you say that. 
Yeah, I'm here. There's about to be a funeral. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. There is about to be a funeral. Okay, they're going to be surrounded by a lot of loved ones. Now, I don't know if this funeral is about to take place now or it's going to take place in the future, maybe three to four months or three to four years. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they got cancer. I'm hearing breast cancer or throat cancer. I'm hearing this is their goddamn karma for doing spell work on you your whole entire life. I feel like several of your family members could know about this or they don't know about this or somebody don't even know they got cancer. Somebody, I don't know. I don't know. Well, how the hell would you not know that you got cancer? Or somebody, I think, yeah, Spirit said this person do know they got cancer, but they're hiding it or something like that. I feel like somebody's going to die unexpectedly. Somebody could be going through chemotherapy. I feel like this is this person's karma. I feel like somebody, um, Somebody's karmic mother has done beauty. Angel number 15, 15 on the clock. Spirit saying everything I'm saying is the truth. Okay, yeah, you're very fruitful and abundant. Okay, there's nothing. These people are doing, not only are they, did they hire a hitman because they're going through karma and they're up under judgment. They're also doing heavy black magic and spell work. Okay, some of you are going to end up getting married here pretty soon. If you're not already married, okay, or you and your divine count, if you're already with your person, you guys are going to grow and evolve. So if you're with somebody and you guys think, think seem not seem to not be going good it's because your family is doing spell work over your union okay if you're not with somebody your family and especially this karmic mother here is doing spell work over your love life your finances and your stability okay make sure y'all hit the like button okay but this is ridiculous here y'all bear with me because i'm getting download after download after download this private investigator here did they hired this private investigator they hired this person as a hitman this person is an undercover agent okay you are uh you're royalty let me just put it like that okay I'm hearing there and your family don't want to go to jail. They all were a part of it. They had some type of secret meeting. Okay. Somebody could, could be a part of some type of secret organization or some type of uh, cult or, or something like this or some type of, uh, I'm hearing drug ring or some type of, not necessarily drug ring. I'll take that back. But somebody in your family, whether this is your mother or this is or your whole entire family could be a part of an occult. Basically what I'm hearing is, is your whole entire family could have tried to sacrifice you for money, fortune, or fame or something like that but the abundance lies with you that's what i'm hearing you're the true royal one i don't feel like this is your real family and if it is your real family you just was born into a demonic family these individuals here are fucked up these people could have lied to the judicial system to steal this inheritance to try to get you locked up put you in a mental institution but all these motherfuckers is gonna go be up on they already up under judgment that's why they biting their nails. Somebody is nervous as fuck and scared. Somebody is nervous as fuck and somebody is scared as fuck. And I feel like somebody, whether this is a karmic sister or a karmic brother, somebody feels like if they ignore you or your hoe inside your family. So you could have reached out to somebody in your family, a sibling that could have worked with this mother. Or you could have reached out to everybody. Some, I, I don't know. Man, listen, you need to get out. You need to get out now. Get out now. I can't stress this enough. Okay. Or I'm also hearing somebody is about to have to move. Okay. Devil here. The devil wants your soul, but tell the devil, fuck you. You can't have it. Look at all these third parties. These third parties, they're, they're, they're planning it. I almost want to fucking scream. Holy Spirit. Holy angels. Listen, your, your family here. But make sure y'all hit the like button. Three of Cups, your family here, your family here is, listen, I want to fucking scream. They're planning to kill you. They have a hit out on you. You got money on your fucking head. This also has something to do with the Truman Show. You got money on your head. They're, they're waiting. They're waiting for their way. I'm hearing they couldn't kill you with spell work and black magic. Okay, all these demons and entities that they sent to you. They couldn't take you out because I feel like whoever your real mother or father is or whoever your real parent is, they killed this person already for insurance money. I feel like several people in your family, you could have intuitively had a dream or your ancestors or your spirit guides could have told you something. Spirit wants me to let you know if you've been feeling something that's off about your damn family, you, you could have got a dream or some type of premonition or some type of prophetic dream here. Spirit is saying you're 100% accurate. You're right. You could be a high priest or a high priestess. Okay. 
spirit is telling me you 100% accurate. Look, you are protected. God is protecting you. The angels are protecting you. Your ancestors are protecting you. But your fucking family, these whole ass motherfucking people. Because I'm getting mad now. Because this is some bullshit. I can see this shit in my third eye. They hired a hitman. But the hitman that they hired, this emperor here, is a private investigator. He's a government official. Matter of fact, he's, I mean, he's high ranked. He's not, he's not a part of the local government. This is like feds, FBI, CIA type shit. This is an informant here. This is somebody that's undercover. This is somebody that's watching not only you, they're watching you. They're taking pictures of you. They're tracking your every uh, move. They're also tapping your phone. Okay. But this person is also watching and stalking and tapping these family members phone because I feel like all of these individuals, not just your mother, but all of these individuals are in a narcissistic rage because you were old. I feel like somebody, somebody left you some land. You could have had a grandfather or a grandparent, a grandmother that left you some land. I mean, cause I keep hearing 40 acres in a mule, 40 acres in a mule. Okay. I know that I'm, I know that 40 acres in a mule that kind of represents like African Americans, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not talking about African Americans. You guys could be any, you guys could be any race, you guys could be any color, okay? Hold on one second, let me get a drink, y'all. But you guys could be any race. You guys could be any color, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter what color you are. It don't matter if you're black or white. Somebody is royalty like Michael Jackson. Da -da -da -da. Princess Diana energy. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like somebody real parents actually may be overseas or your bloodline may be tied to the overseas. I'm here in the UK. I'm here in Australia. Okay. Somebody can live in New Hampshire. Somebody can live in California. Somebody can live in Brazil. Or somebody can have roots in Brazil. Somebody could be Spaniard, Spanish. Okay. Somebody could be Egyptian, Comatican. Okay. Somebody has a royal bloodline. Somebody could be uh from somebody could have roots from the Roman Empire. Somebody could be like a the, I'm hearing the ancient Mayans, the Moors. Okay. Somebody is very anointed here and very protected because these individuals don't know who the fuck they fucking with. This private investigator know who the fuck they, they fucking with. Uh, okay, there's two emperors here. I keep picking up on this storyline, y'all. Take what resonate, leave what don't because everybody may not resonate with this message. But there's two emperors here. One of these emperors are a private investigator. This is an older Caucasian guy, possibly. Their boss. Okay, so I don't know which is which. Whoever this emperor is, this emperor, this emperor is an older Caucasian male, kind of salt and pepper hair, uh, maybe kind of like a bluish brownish eyes, like a dark blue eyes, or he could have brown eyes. Okay, spiritual birth. Excuse me. I'm sorry about that, you guys. This person could be kind of heavy set or kind of average. Okay, this person may like to drink scotch. This person may like to drink like scotch whiskey. He may smoke cigars only on vacation. Okay, I feel like this guy has not been on a case. This guy has not been on a on a vacation in a long time. His last name could be Stewart. He also has a female partner that's Caucasian. I'm hearing the name Bethany. I'm hearing the name Brittany. She could have blonde hair, blue eyes, very, very beautiful blonde. Kind of puts you in the mind of Cameron Diaz. Okay. Very beautiful. Okay, I'm also seeing they have a boss. So this boss could be uh uh this is their boss. Okay, I'm here in the state of California. I'm here in Texas. I'm here in Alabama. Alabama. I'm here in New, New Hampshire. I'm here in Brazil heavily. Okay, somebody could be Spanish here. So this, so this, so this uh guy, this this private investigator could be Spanish or he could be Caucasian, but he could have some Spanish roots. That's what I'm hearing. But they also have a boss. Their boss could be African American. This guy could be dark skin, tall, dark skin, kind of heavy set, but not really heavy set. Uh. Uh, uh, this guy can really like sub sandwiches or some shit like that or like chips. I feel like these individuals are always on the go. Let's put it like that. So whoever this salt and pepper hair guy is, this guy could be mixed breed. This guy could be like a uh, Caucasian mixed with a uh, Span Spanish. Okay. They could be from, they could be from overseas. They also have a partner that could be European. Caucasian female and I'm also I'm also hearing their boss could be African American or African or there or they could be from the UK or something like that I'm channeling right now their boss has a bald head he doesn't have any hair I feel like he shaves okay 
I'm hearing something about just for men or something like that. Somebody could dye their hair. Somebody could dye their hair. Salt and pepper. I don't know, but they're watching you. They're watching this empress very heavily. So just take the role, switch it around because the, so the black guy may not be the boss. The mixed breed white and Hispanic guy or Spanish guy may not be the boss. Uh, the, the Caucasian female may not, I don't know who's the boss, but they all working together. Okay. And two of these people. So, so the salt and pepper haired guy, that's mixed breed. He could, his partner could be the Caucasian female, or or the Caucasian female could be the African American's part partner. But whoever are partners, they all report back to the boss. Okay, but wh whoever this Caucasian female is, I don't know if she could be the boss. I don't know. This is interesting. Look, there was a lot of money involved. There is a lot of forged documents here. Okay, I'm hearing vital documents. Somebody could have changed your social security number around. Somebody could have changed your birth certificate around. Listen, baby, you got to get out. You got to get out. Listen, my blood, my blood is boiling. Okay, y'all, and I got to, you, you got to get out. Okay, I, I got to get out this energy. You got to get out. I'm hearing get out. I'm seeing the movie Get Out. You're going to have to get out because whoever the fuck this karmic mother is and these family members is possibly a father, a sibling, a brother, a sister, uh, other family members. Okay, I don't know if you're close to these people like in close proximity or you live in a different city or a different town or maybe you live in a different state. I don't know, but you're going to have to get out now. Okay, when I say get out now, excuse me, you guys. And when I, they, yeah, these people are in regret. When I say get out now, I don't mean like you're going to have to get out tomorrow or get out today. Okay. I don't know when you're going to have to get out. You might have to get out in two to three years. You might have to get out in two to three months. You might have to get out. You never, I, I'm here. You're going to get a knock at your door. Somebody's going to get a knock at their door by the feds. Okay. But you're not in trouble. Don't worry. They're not going to tell you to put your hands behind your back. Okay. And you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be held against you in the court of law. No. That's not going to happen. You, you got to go into hiding. You got to go into some type of protection because your family is a part of an occult. They're a part of some type of secret organization. You were supposed to be a sacrifice. I'm here. You were supposed to be been dead, but you're too, you're too powerful. Your bloodline is entirely too strong. You have ancient blood, okay? I'm hearing ancient Mayans. I'm hearing the Moors. I'm hearing ancient Egyptians, Comaticans. I'm hearing uh, Nubians, okay? I'm hearing uh, somebody could be from have can have roots in Australia. Somebody could have roots in Spain. I'm hearing because I'm hearing Spaniards, okay? Somebody could be from the have roots in the Roman Empire. Somebody, somebody is somebody, somebody Akashic records are fucking lit, okay? I feel like your family has hired several like uh car partners false twins uh false lovers in the community okay you you have a hit you got money on your head i'm hearing up to fifty thousand, or there could have been fifty thousand that was stolen from you okay i feel like whoever your real mother or father is now don't get me wrong take what resonate lee what don't your real this could be your real family this don't th this might not be some of you, this is not your real family. Some of you, this is your real family. You just was born into a demonic family that has done spell work on your life to try to ruin and sabotage you. Like It's like this karmic mother, this karmic family, they want to take all your abundance and take all your blessings. Okay, these are the type of people that will shit on you. These are the type of people that will probably, they used to bully you or call you names or call you lazy or call you broke or blah, blah, blah. But it's like, how are you going to call somebody lazy or broke? Or how are you going to say, say, I don't know. You could be broke. You could be poor. You could be middle class. You could be rich. I don't know what you do. I don't know. You can't be rich because... I don't know what to say, man. You live, somebody is living, this whole entire family is living on the high horse. Now you could be poor, you could be middle class. I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to say rich, but I'm hearing somebody is going to be a millionaire. I'm hearing that because these people intentionally did spell work to try to block and stop your blessings and to keep you heartbroken and stuck. Whoever this karmic ass mother is it, or father is, like, I, it, I'm telling you, this mother is the ring leader. It's like they, they tried to curse you. Somebody could have got a reading done on you. They could have looked into your birth chart when you was a small child and somebody could have got a reading and, and somebody could have discovered your life path. 
somebody thinks they know your life path number or somebody could have discovered your life path number or I don't know. Somebody looked into your birth chart when you were a small child. Okay, we have the Justice card here again. We have the Ten of Swords here. We got the Three of Cups. Yeah, you were supposed to be there with this Death card, Scorpio energy. Okay, so the signs that I'm seeing here, somebody could be a Capricorn here. Somebody could be a double Capricorn. This karmic mother could be a Capricorn or somebody in your family. Somebody could be an Aquarius here. Somebody could be a Libra. Somebody could be a Scorpio. Somebody could be an Aries. Somebody could be a Gemini. I'm hearing somebody's, I'm hearing whoever your true divine counterpart is, they could be an air sign. So they can be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, I feel like somebody's divine counterpart could be an air sign or a water sign or a fire sign. I'm I'm not really hearing water, but they could be. Okay, I mean yes, I mean hey, it could it could be any sign. I'm just that's just what I'm hearing, you guys. So your divine counterpart could be any sign. We have the page of swords here. I feel like you got money on your head. I really want to scream this, but I got neighbors and shit, and I'm gonna go cooking and stuff. But listen, you got money on your head, and spirit is not gonna let me get out of this energy because you got money on your head i'm telling you money on your fucking head like big time money on your head because these people is broke now how they gonna it's like listen your family look we got the five of pentacles here your family this karmic mother these people they broke they stole your inheritance. They switched some documents around. They hired some type of attorney or some type of a lawyer to take you out, to fight or sacrifice you, to ruin you. These people could have caused you to be broke in poverty, homeless, whatever the fuck. They, they, nothing that they did worked because I'm hearing nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. How you going to steal somebody's money? How you gonna steal somebody's inheritance and you broke? These people are in the five of pentacles and they feel left out in the cold because they see you elevating so you could be hard at work or something like that. These people ain't got no more money, but I feel like, yeah, somebody is down on their luck. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is down on their luck. Somebody, somebody need another hit. It's like dope. It's like cocaine. It's like crack cocaine. You know, I don't know, like methamphetamines, <laughs> like motherfucking, I ain't gonna say marijuana smoke, but somebody trying to hit another lick. Somebody, somebody need another hit. So whoever the fuck this karmic mother is, this queen of wands is, this is not even a, this is not even a queen of wands. This bitch is a demon. This is a devil. I ain't gonna say reptilian. Maybe they could be reptilian, half demon. I don't fucking know. But this bitch, somebody need another hit. Somebody is money hungry here. Somebody will do anything for money. And I feel like the community has helped this person. And I feel like whoever this karmic mother is, they, they have conned a lot of fucking people. And they also owe a lot of people money. You could be on this world stage here. Somebody is destined to be in the public eye. Okay? Somebody could be destined to be a star or something like that. Don't have to be. Or you may just be destiny. I'm hearing defamation of character. Because in the song, Eminem says, have you ever been hated or discriminated? against i have i've been protesting and i forgot i forgot what the hell he say pick his signs for yeah i feel like somebody has somebody's character has been defamed you may end up having a defamation lawsuit okay of defamation of character there's several people that's involved with this situation hold on you guys let me light some more of my page there's a lot of fucking people that's involved in this, but they don't know who the fuck they fucking with because I feel like you got some Avenger angels surrounding you. You got some uh, assassins that's surrounding you. I'm hearing they about to go to fuck the war. They hearing, oh, you gonna put a hit out on our baby? See, this is why your ancestors is so, is so fucking mad, divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay, your ancestors are mad because I feel like your ancestors, when they were living, your, this is your loved ones. When your ancestors was living, some of them could have been taken out or some of them just could have fucked up and failed. Some of them didn't take heed to warning either. Some of them just was, some of them could have been karmic too. So I feel like you were, you were sent here on some type of divine mission to heal your bloodline. Do that make sense? You guys make sure y'all hit the like button. I feel like you would sit here on some type of divine mission to heal your bloodline. And you know what I'm saying? They're proud of you. They're rooting for you. And then you got these whole ass karmic family members and this karmic mother and shit, the ringleader of this shit that don't want to heal, don't want to change, don't want to grow and don't want to evolve. Yeah, this queen of pinnacle, this money hungry ass bitch, this bitch will do anything for fucking money and clout because I'm hearing they do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. I feel like somebody has tried to walk off in your energy like they're the divine being. 
Like they're the they're the divine feminine. They're the divine masculine, and they're not. Okay, but your ancestors is like no, 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 no. You're not gonna. This is the one that's gonna heal our bloodline. If you take this person now, then they're gonna have to come back and start over next lifetime. Oh my God. Okay, so this must be a past life energy. So some of you, so so this so for some of you, not everybody is gonna resonate with this because every some stuff happened to you in a past life. Okay, you guys, and then some stuff never happened to you in the past life. You could just be experiencing it this lifetime. But I'm hearing some of you could have been taken out. Some of you could have died in a past life because of this karmic mother, this queen of pentacles, queen of swords, devil ass energy, this psycho, this psychotic ass bitch. This is a psychotic ass bitch that's on dope. Okay, I feel like somebody has always been a secret dope fiend or a secret pill head or, or, or you know what? If this person is not on drugs, now for some of you, not all of you, some of you guys karmic mother or parents could have been on drugs all your life or never took care of you or provided for you some of your parents could have took taken care of you some of your parents could have provided for you but i feel like somebody is a uh somebody know how to use medicine somebody judgment i just seen judgment again somebody know how to use medicine somebody could work in the medical field somebody's mother could work in the medical field somebody could be a nurse a nurse practitioner Somebody has also went to a spiritual practitioner and a tarot reader. Somebody got a reading on you, whether when you was a child or they they keep getting readings on you. But somebody's mother could work in the medical field. Somebody's mother could be a CNA. Somebody's mother could be a nurse. Somebody, I'm hearing something about diet, dietitian. Somebody's mother could work in dietary or some shit like that. They could work in a nursing home or they could work in a hospital. Somebody is like a mathematician and somebody is a medicine whiz. I feel, I feel like I feel like whoever this karmic mother is, they're going to jail for murder because they killed one of your other family members okay this this is this is the ring leader this bitch listen look death card here scorpio energy listen whoever the fuck this karmic mother is they they got a hit out on you listen and all your whole entire family is involved in it okay now listen this might not be this could be a future energy this might not even be going on right now this may be something that's going to take place in the future okay but i feel like these people do not want to get caught because they know they're going to jail okay look we got the justice card here we got the king of coins here and we got the queen of pentacles here okay there is also somebody's spouse so your mother's spouse or your stepfather father or your father or your stepmother or your mother i'm hearing somebody's somebody's spouse is involved with something somebody could be incarcerated here as well y'all take what resonate leave what don't because i'm getting several different downloads okay you guys but listen 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 i'm hearing fentanyl poisoning somebody's mother or some that this don't have to be your mother or somebody in your family know how to use somebody is on somebody uses fentanyl or somebody could have died from a, from fentanyl poisoning i feel like you you come from a family full of murderers i'm hearing him i'm always hearing on the next episode of american greed uh, somebody gonna end up on that show i don't even know if that show keep coming comes on okay but somebody is gonna end up on some type of crime investigation show because i feel like this karmic mother or sister or grandmother or foster parent or adoptive mother whoever the fuck raised you this is a female whoever the fuck raised you has killed a lot has helped has killed a lot of family members in your family possibly even people in the community possibly even somebody could have killed your real mother or your, your grandmother somebody died from fentanyl poisoning okay maybe even a cousin could have died somebody somebody could have somebody damn man i'm seeing a lot of murders i'm seeing a lot of deaths man i feel like somebody i'm hearing killer kids I feel like whoever this mother is or these people, somebody has been killing since they was a fucking kid, man. For real, real shit. Somebody, somebody could have started off killing animals. What is that like? Who is that? Michael Myers? Some or Jason? One of them. Somebody could have started off killing animals as a child, and now they fucking they they started to kill people, but they slick with it. Somebody don't kill. Somebody set up a murder. There's two murders here. Okay, I'm seeing two murders here, man. There is a lot going on here. Y'all, y'all cannot tell me I am not a fucking psychic investigator anyway listen i'm seeing two mur murders here somebody could have died by gunshot wound 
Okay, I'm hearing this could be a brother, this could be a cousin, this could be an uncle, this could be a sister, this could be a auntie, this could be any fucking body. But somebody died from gunshot wound, and I'm hearing it was premeditated. Okay, I'm hearing this is premeditated murder. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing whoever did. I feel like this, listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. This karmic mother here travels overseas. Okay, if they don't travel overseas, they go state to state. Somebody is on the run. Uh, they're about to be on the run. Somebody is scared for their life. I'm hearing they're going to end up in a middle institution institution for the rest of their lives or they're going to end up in prison for the rest of them li their lives and if they end up in prison they're going to die in jail if they end up in a mental institution they're going to die in there or they're going to experience some type of death because i feel like somebody has cancer here but i want y'all to open y'all eyes open your ears and i want you to listen to me your mother has been the ringleader or your grandmother or your sister or whoever your adoptive mother your foster whoever the fuck raised you whoever the hell adopted you or biologically they have been the ringleader of this occulted family, okay? This is how they make their money. This is how they make a living. This is the, Somebody sat, sold their soul to the devil and tried to sacrifice their own child, male or female. They intentionally, this was premeditated since birth, though, because they looked into your birth chart when you was a child, when you was a baby. You could have came out the womb and they looked into your birth chart. But see, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hearing somebody could have been born in the 80s. Somebody could have been born in the 70s. Somebody could have been born in the 60s. Somebody could have been born in the 50s. Somebody could have been born in the 90s. Okay, somebody could have somebody could have had a child in the 2000s as well. So somebody looked into your birth chart. I don't know, cause I, what spirit is telling me, I don't. The, when you were born, cell nobody was using cell phones. Okay, so yeah, spirit is telling me you could be between the ages of 30 to. 47 45 okay i don't feel like or you know spirit is telling me somebody could be between the ages of 21 to 45 okay maybe no so I, i'm hearing maybe 25 I, no spirit said 21 to 45 because there's several people out here they got karmic mothers karmic parental figures okay so i don't know so just take what resonate leave what don't so some of you somebody could have looked up your birth chart on a cell phone or they could have went to a, like a public library and looked up your birth chart or somebody has been into witchcraft all of your life somebody could have even tried to poison you and kill you so i don't know so you could have ate something from your mother and you could have instantly threw up or you could have ate something from a family member i'm hearing your body rejected it because your body was too healthy that was your spirit guide somebody been trying to kill you and poison you all your life i'm hearing something about iodine poisoning i'm hearing fentanyl somebody in your family died from fentanyl poisoning somebody's mother works in the medical field i'm hearing misery i'm seeing the movie misery in my head okay i'm hearing oh paul yeah it's like somebody tried to act like you were the crazy one but this bitch is psycho somebody is a premeditated killer here they've killed several people in your family and if they didn't do the killing they hired other family members this is an occulted family this is how they make their money i'm also seeing incest here there's a lot of shit going on here i'm hearing somebody's karmic mother could have slept with one of their boyfriends or girlfriends okay somebody's karmic mother could be in the closet as well or have somebody's karmic mother could be a swinger somebody's karmic mother could be into swinging y'all i'm getting several downloads take what resonate leave what don't but listen this is a 911 emergency. Listen, take what resonates, leave what don't, but you need to get out and you need to get out now. But listen, though, I don't know when you need to get out because I'm not God. I'm just a prophet. I'm just a prophetess. I'm just a prophetic tarot reader. I can perceive the future. So you may be a okay right now. You might be chilling somewhere. Somebody may smoke, smoke weed here. Somebody may smoke blunts here or somebody in this family. So, so maybe a sister or a brother or, or several people in your family could be doing heavy drugs or they could just be smoking a lot of weed or drinking or popping pills here somebody's sibling could die of an overdose i'm hearing that's their karma for helping this mother so if your brother or sister do drugs pop pills smoke a lot of weed drink they're gonna die of an overdose i'm hearing that's their karma for going for helping this karmic mother here somebody is a dope fiend somebody is a somebody is a functioning drug addict somebody could be i really don't want to say weed because you know i don't think you can die from a weed overdose but I feel like I'm here. Somebody could be a functioning peel head. Somebody is a functioning addict. I feel like whoever this brother or this sister is, they could be like the golden child. Your mother or your father could be very narcissistic. Okay. But I feel like whoever this brother or this sister is, they're the golden child. Okay. I feel like you're the true strong one. You're the true powerful one. Okay. We have the lovers here. Somebody's brother or sister could be a Gemini here. They never loved you. Okay. 
neither does your did your mother or okay possibly even your father as well okay i feel like somebody's father may end up dying from a heart attack i'm seeing somebody standing in the kitchen while cooking and i feel like somebody somebody somebody's father could be secretly on drugs or they been they could have been on drugs all your life y'all i'm getting so many downloads it's like i keep getting high then i get low then i get high then i get low and i don't do drugs y'all i don't do drugs okay i don't even smoke weed okay because they make me paranoid because i already got a natural high because i'm a psychic but um i'm telling you somebody gets high 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 somebody smokes a lot of weed okay or somebody smokes somebody gets a somebody gets high on pills okay this could be a sibling here that's gonna die somebody gonna die from an overdose because it's their fucking karma because i feel like you could have tried to reach out to some some family members or a sibling a brother or a sister this person could have ignored you because i feel like you're intuitively starting to pick up something on something you could be intuitively starting to pick up on dream you could be dreaming of something i'm telling you you gotta get out you gotta get out but see that's the thing i'm just the prophecies i don't know when the fuck you're gonna have to get out but listen you're these people are up under judgment and they're going through a lot of karma because they stole your inheritance there's about to be some type of major tower because what these people do not realize and do not know this emperor here this private investigator well this hit aka this hidden the hitman that they hired is an informant this hitman works for the federal government this hitman is a private investigator and all of these motherfuckers is going to jail they don't want to go to jail they scared they gonna go to jail they biting their fingernails they nervous they getting high on dope okay there's a lot of shit that's about to come out there's a lot of shit that you could be intuitively picking up on you could be dreaming about but there's more to the story spirit is saying you don't know everything because your spirit guides is not going to let you know everything because if you knew everything that these people were doing you would probably faint now, i ain't saying you're gonna die I'm not saying you're going to die, but you will probably faint. But I'm saying you got to go. You got to go. This empress here, male or female, you got to go. You got to get out. Okay, because I feel like there's a lot of people in the community that could be involved with this as well, as well or they was involved in this. Listen, your divine counterpart is here. We have the emperor to the empress here. Your divine counterpart is here, okay? Spirit want me to leave it at that because I feel like your family, this mother, father, these family members, brothers, sister, aunt, uncles, cousin, these people are trying to block and stop your love life and block and stop your stability. They're doing spell work. I feel like a mother could have hired another family member to try to take you out or kill you or harm you or sacrifice you or something like that. It didn't work. Okay, I feel like somebody could have tried to reach out to you and connect with you and you was like, nah, I don't really want to fuck with you. Leave me alone or blah, blah, blah. Or, I don't know. You listen, listen, listen 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 linda <laughs> okay listen linda okay well where did i get that from what the fuck so somebody's mother name could be linda did i get that from napoleon dynamite or some shit anyways y'all ignore me y'all you know y'all know i'm trying to lighten it up the mood okay but listen i don't know how else to say this because i don't know when the hell these people are in regret i don't know I don't know when this is going to happen. This might happen in three days. This may happen in three months. This might happen in three years. But listen, you got to get out. These people are watching and stalking you. You got to get out. But I'm here. You're protected. You're going to have to go into some type of hiding or some type of protection. Okay. Now, some of you might not have to go anywhere, but you're going to get some type of package or some type of message or some type of delivery in the mail. Okay. Or I mean, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a bomb threat. Listen, you got to look this, 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 this lady is psycho. Somebody do not want to go to jail at all. Somebody has gotten away with murder, premeditated murder for many, many years. There are several people. in, So you can have people in your family that could have died from suicide. You can have people in your family that could have died from drug overdoses. You can have people in your family that could have died all different ways. Maybe Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, excuse me, dementia. They didn't really die like that they didn't they were poisoned i'm hearing fentanyl poisoning okay man there's man somebody this is absolutely sad i keep hearing fentanyl fentanyl poisoning so there could be a grandmother or a grandfather here that could have died from fentanyl poisoning i'm hearing somebody is a medicine whiz somebody is a medicine whiz somebody somebody somebody's mother or somebody or sister or aunt I'm seeing a female here. Somebody here really knows medicine very well. Somebody could have worked in the medical field all their life. Somebody knows how to poison people. Okay, I'm telling you, man, something is going to be on like unsolved mystery and all. May not, well, yeah, shit. I don't know, man. Something is, 
I ain't gonna say unsolved mystery, but this is an unsolved mystery because I'm trying to figure this shit out. But I mean, I'm not really trying to figure it out. It's just this shit is sad. I'm getting so many downloads, but I feel like something is gonna be on the episode of American Greed because I keep hearing on the next episode of American Greed. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button. This shit is sad. Yo, hold, listen. I don't know what the fuck to say to you. Do you under listen? Listen. Listen, I don't know why Spirit want me to say, listen, Linda, listen, Mike, listen, listen, Jonathan, listen, Kimberly, listen, Tierra, listen, Elizabeth. I don't know y'all names out there, but listen, you got a hit put out on you, but you're safe. You're not going to die. You don't got anything to worry about. You're protected by your ancestors, your spirit guides and your angels. And you're also protected by the federal government because just like they hired these people, and somebody travels overseas a lot as well. Now listen, again, stuff take time. Everything happens in divine timing. You understand what I'm saying? Everything happens in divine timing. This bitch got to go. Okay, now divine timing could be in five minutes. Divine timing could be tomorrow. Divine, divine timing could be in three months. Because see, this karmic ass mother here, this ring leader, she worked hard to do this shit. Your whole entire family is involved with this. This is a demonic ass family, a devil ass family that tried to sacrifice you and sell you out to the U.S. to the local government officials, to the U.S. government. You have a royal bloodline, a royal DNA. Ain't none of these motherfuckers royalty. But see, this is what spirit is telling me. Some of you, not all of you, some of you actually could have been born into a royal family. If this is your biological family. You possibly could have been born into a royal family, but along down, I'm, I'm hearing something about slavery, possibly. Now, listen, when I say slavery, I don't just mean African-Americans because, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm hearing like the Holocaust. There is a like the Holocaust, slavery. You know, there's a lot of different, uh, different races that were put into slavery in different time frames, in different centuries. So when I just say slavery, I don't just mean like uh, the American slavery or UK slavery or whatever the hell. Somebody can have some Creole roots. Somebody can be from New Orleans because I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing, yeah. Like, so somebody may talk like that. You heard me or something like that. Somebody may, somebody may, from, somebody may be from Louisiana or somebody could have hired a witch doctor from Louisiana or Baton Rouge or Shreveport or something like that. I'm hearing Geechee. Somebody could have some Geechee roots as well. But listen, I feel like there was some type of glitch or something in the universe that happened to several chosen ones, several hundred and forty four thousand. I'm also hearing that's kind of irrelevant. But then again, it's not irrelevant. That's kind of another story for another time. I'm not really finna get into that. But I feel like something, something I'm hearing bondage. Your family could have been put in the, put in bondage. I'm hearing, I'm hearing before Christ. I'm hearing, I'm hearing BC. I'm hearing AD. Okay. Several of you were put, so, several of you, if you're a chosen one, several of you could have been sent here on a mission as well. You also could have been sent here to be crucified like Jesus. This had to happen in order to heal your bloodline. You know, um, some stuff, everything happened for a reason. God will not put more on you than you can bear. Okay. God gives his strongest journeys, his strongest battles to his strongest soldiers. Okay. So don't, don't, don't keep the faith, keep the faith. Just flow with me. Just flow with me. But listen, your family lineage, your family tree could have been put into some type of bondage or put into some type of slavery. I don't know. It could have been doing the slave uh, I'm hearing something about President Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, I'm hearing something about Abraham in the Bible as well. Okay, that's another story for another time. So your family could have been put into slavery, or they could have been slave masters, or something like that, or something could have been stolen from your family. If you're African American, I feel like the slave you, your your family could have been royalty, and they could have been somebody. They could your family tree, not all of your family, not all of your lineage. Okay, yeah, that's what Spirit is telling me. Some of you have root overseas some of you have roots uh and different now listen this is it don't matter if you black or white so i'm not just talking about african americans i'm talking about all races because just like you got poor black people you got poor white people just like you got poor middle class black people i mean just like you got middle class black people you got middle class white people okay we're not talking about race here but there's so many people in the world. There's billions and billions of people of the world. 
some of us are related and don't know we're related. Like you could be, uh, like for example, I, I, I was born and raised in Texas, but I was told all my life, I got family in Chicago. I got family in California. You know what I'm saying? But I've never met these people a day in my life. If I seen them walking up the street, I wouldn't know who the hell they are. You feel what I'm saying? But see, some of us, some of us chosen ones have, uh, I'm hearing something about Asiatic roots. I know I have Asiatic roots, but uh, some of us, some of us chosen ones have ancient roots. You know, I told y'all that has something to do with the Vatican. That has something to do with like your social security card, like your social security card. Like that's like a bank account. That's how much you're worth. And it just grows and grows and grows. I'm not finna get into all of that. I kind of already did a video on that. Okay. I think if you haven't caught that video, I did a video called um, uh, the chosen ones were sent here on a G14 classified mission. You might want to go check that out if you want more details about why you're a chosen one and why you're here okay i'm not gonna get into that but listen your family tree could have been put into slavery or put into some type of bondage okay it could have happened doing like uh abraham like before abraham lincoln abolished abolished slavery i think slavery was abolished and i think uh 1865 or something like that i don't know okay i'm not really finna get into that okay but i know it was the late 1800s okay or you could have been put into slavery doing i'm hearing the persian something about somebody can have persian roots okay I'm hearing something. I mean, I don't know. I'm hearing something dashiki. I'm hearing Aladdin. I'm hearing Aladdin or something. Somebody, I don't know. Somebody, somebody can have Middle Eastern blood. Somebody can be from like, somebody could be Roman. Somebody could be from Rome. Somebody, well, somebody could be Greek. Somebody could be, I'm hearing Greek goddess. Okay. I'm hearing Greek gods, Greek goddess. I'm hearing Egyptian gods, Egyptian goddess, like comedic Nubian. Okay. Listen, you have some very strong royal roots. Your roots are extremely strong. Your roots are extremely royal, but something happened in your family tree. Something happened during your bloodline. I'm not saying that all of your family was not put into bondage. Y'all following me? Make sure y'all hit the like button. All of your family was not put into bondage. Some of your family members, like for example, example, when you talk about the slave, the slave trade, let's talk about it. Damn spirit. Why y'all be doing this to me? I got to go cook, but <laughs> I love y'all though. But listen, when you talk about the slave trade, okay. Like for example, me, I'll use me for an example to help y'all better understand. Uh, well, I'll, no, I'll just use black people and I'll use myself. So, cause I want y'all to understand like me, I was born in the nineties. Okay. Uh, I really don't want to tell my business. I can't, no, nah, I can't use me as an example because I got trolls that be watching me and shit. So I, I can't do that. I can't do that. But okay, you got some people. How can I put this? Let me light some more of my sage because shit, that's the enemy that's trying to distract me. But oh Lord, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. You see how they don't want me to get shit out? They don't be want me to get shit out, y'all. These they, they hate when I speak the truth. But, uh, basically put it like this everybody is not from slavery you you feel what i'm saying okay so if i use myself as an example i won't i won't get deep i won't get deep i'll just use my skin tone i'll use my skin color okay in my family tree i'm not going to go into detail but in my family tree my grandmother this is my blood grandmother She's, this is my grandmother. Okay. One of my grandmothers, she's 80 something years old. She's half breed. She's half Caucasian, which is my grandmother's mother. She's still living. Okay. I could, I could get in touch with her, contact her now if I want to. Okay. Does she still live in healthy, healthy? She still drive beautiful woman. Okay. Her mother died when my grandmother was six years old. Now I'm not going into full detail. I'm just kind of touching the surface. She died when my mother, my grandmother was six years old. She was Caucasian. Okay. Her parents owned mulatto slaves. Now my grandfather is Navajo Indian. You feel what I'm saying? So my grandmother was born in the thirties. Her mother could have been, I, I've already looked it up. I'm not going to say when her mother was born, even though I know, uh, during the early, 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 I think late 1800s, not, yeah, well, not early, but late 1800s or something like that. She, 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 she wasn't that old, but she kind of was old, if, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm not really finna get into detail, but like, I've looked all this information up. 
on the census, uh, like uh, on uh, Ancestry.com, okay? And I've looked at the Census Bureau, the Census, whatever you want to call it. Not the Census, whatever you call that shit. The Census, you know what I'm saying? I looked that up and everything. So I'm using me as an example to say, because a lot of you may resonate with this, like, how can I put this? I'm trying to explain this the best way I can so I can get back on topic because this is very imperative. Or spirit, do you want me to just keep my mouth shut and get to the point or get to the basics? Because I feel like my collective needs to know this. Spirit told me to go ahead and say it. Some of your family members, okay, that's how I can say it. Some of your family members that you don't know could live overseas or they can really live right. I don't know. Some of you may already live overseas and you got family members in America or some of you can live in America and you got family members overseas. Either way it go. Not all of you, but a select few of your family members were put into slavery or put into bondage. These family members that live in America or these family members that live overseas, I don't know if they live in the United States. I don't know if they live in the United Kingdom. I don't know if they live in Australia. I don't know if they live in Spain. I don't know if they live in Rome. I don't know where they live, but these are your relatives. Okay. And somebody could have been switched at birth. Somebody could have a twin as well and don't know it. I don't know, but either way it go, you're royalty. And I feel like something happened. Your some of your family members doing slavery. Some of your family members doing slavery during another time frame, not American slavery, but they could have been put in bondage before Christ. I'm hearing BC or AD, something happened to your family tree where these people lost their divinity because they were put into slavery and bondage. And when they were put into slavery and bondage, they had to survive. I'm hearing survive on the land. They had to survive. They forgot who they were. Okay. And see, you were sent here on a mission. You could have been born in nineteen in the 1970s. You could have been born in the 1980s. You could have been born in the 1960s, the 50s. Hell, you could have even been born in the 90s. Or you could have been born in the 2000s, the early 2000s. Because I think if you were born in like 2002, you got to be like 20, 21 now or something like that. I don't know. Or 2001. Yeah, you could have been born in the late 90s. I don't know. But, but, but whoever you are, Spirit said, I don't think this is going to resonate for any baby boomers. Okay, I feel like these some of these baby boomers are the ones that's up under judgment and getting their ass kicked. But whenever you were born, God, you're chosen. Now, not all of you are chosen, but some of you are chosen. Okay, because I know I got trolls watching me. But when God sent you here, he sent you here on a mission specifically to heal your bloodline. This is why you've been under heavy attack and heavy spell work. See, you have distant cousins, distant relatives that are still royalty. You can have, you can be related to some kings and queens that you don't even know about. Or your family could know this and they could have hid this from you. Or you could have been, you could have been sold off. So somebody could really be from overseas or somebody could really be from America. Somebody could be Japanese or Chinese here. Or somebody could just have Asiatic roots. Somebody could have been sold by, somebody could have sold you off to American, to, to America, to an American family. Or somebody could have sold you off to a family overseas or maybe. Let's go back to the story. Or maybe this is your biological family that has forgotten who they were. I feel like these people were put into some type of bondage or put into some type of slavery where they had to live off the land or they could have been cursed to be concubines. They could have been cursed to be beggars or something happened to these people where they lost their divinity. Okay, I feel like first they didn't lose their div their divinity. At first they just lost their 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 ranking. And I'm not talking about like spiritual ranking. I'm talking about like uh I'm talking about like they could have been a king and a queen and they could have been invaded. Like for example, when I believe I mean ancient Kemet was invaded several times, but you know, I believe they were invaded by the uh Palestinians like 3000 A uh, uh B A D or whatever the B C or whatever the hell, I don't know. They were invaded. So you guys could have been invaded, <clears throat> excuse me, whether you from Rome, Greece, whether you're from uh I don't know, you're a Moor, you're an ancient Mayan, whatever you are, you guys were invaded at one point. OK, or if this is not before or after Christ, I don't know. Or you could have been invaded or you or you could have been put into slavery during the American slave trade or the United Kingdom slave trade. Either way it go. 
you were you you were taken away from the royal family. You were taken away from where you were supposed to be. Now, some of you are not going to resonate with this. Some of you will, but Spirit says I have to get this out. You were taken away from from there, and so there's been generation after generation after generation who has forgotten who they are. But see, you, if you're spiritual, if you're into tarot or you're into the occult or whatever, you're starting to remember the time. Do you remember the time when we fell in love? Do you remember the time? That's all Michael Jackson was talking about. Anyways, you remember who you are. And since you remember who you are, you were sent here on a mission. Possibly the whole 144,000, okay? But you were sent here on an indigo child children, chosen ones. You were sent here on a mission to heal your bloodline, to help them awaken. But see, these motherfuckers don't want to awaken. They don't want to wake up and smell the coffee. They, they've been stuck to and attached to the devil so goddamn long. They don't give a damn. They want to take you out. They need your blood. They, these people have sold their soul to the devil, especially this karmic mother. This person has to be taken out. But God is telling me this mother may end up in a mental institution for the rest of their life or in prison for the rest of their life, or they're going to die from some type of cancer. Possibly I'm hearing this person may end up having two diseases. I feel like somebody could have been very promiscuous. Somebody, so you could have seen your mother sleep around or mess with a lot of people. They could have been very sneaky. I feel like somebody has two diseases here. This is not for everybody. Somebody can have an incurable STD for sleeping around in the community, or they can have cancer or something. They can have both, both. I'm hearing bone cancer, throat cancer, brain cancer, something. They, they may, I feel like somebody is going to be convicted of a, of a crime of merely felonies first degree murder accessory after the fact because i'm hearing somebody in your family died from fentanyl poisoning and they could have said that they died from suicide i feel like somebody could have died somebody could have said somebody on somebody's death certificate it says that they died from suicide on somebody's death certificate it says that they died from uh dementia or something and i'm hearing they really died both of these individuals could have died from fentanyl poisoning okay or some type of iodine poisoning okay somebody knows how to mix and master up medication okay Okay, and somebody else in your family could have died from gunshot wound or some shit like that. I'm hearing that was premeditated as well, as well as your life was premeditated. Somebody will do anything for clout or do anything for money. Somebody is very money hungry here. Your whole entire family though. But see, it's not just this karmic mother. Your whole entire family has a hit out on you because they want to know. I'm telling you, when I started the reading off, I said they want to know. Do they know? They wouldn't know. I keep seeing like that TikTok thing. They wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. Y'all y'all understand what I'm saying? But listen, I'm going to try to say this as calmly because I don't know when you're going to have to leave. I don't know when you're going to have to go. Some of you may not have to go no goddamn where, okay? Trust your intuition. Use the sermon, okay? You need to get out and get out now because these three, with the three of pentacles here, these motherfuckers is working together to take you out. You got a hit out on you. I don't know what to say to you. When I start getting nervous, I start singing. We got judgment here. I can, I can feel this. Uh, I can feel this in the spirit. This is crazy. Now, some of you, I, I, I don't know. Some of you, now listen, this is what Spirit is telling me. Some of you with this death card here, thank you, Spirit Confirmation. Some of you probably don't got to hit out on you. Some of you probably are A-OK, -okay, okay? This is for some of you, not all of you. Some of you, this karmic mother and as well as a family member, because I'm picking up on a karmic brother or sister. I'm picking up on a karmic mother and a karmic father. Some of these people just may experience deaths, Okay, for, for intentionally going against you. This shit has come back to back backfire and bite them, bite them in the ass. I'm hearing that song. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Oh, wow. I just seen the emperor card. Yeah, you're going to get married because I keep hearing. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, yeah, listen, I can't tell you. Look, your divine counterpart and you are very strong. Okay, this this union was orchestrated in the heavens. But see, I'm not going to talk about your love life. Should I talk about your love life? This reading is already very long. Listen, they're doing spell work on you. 
your whole family. It ain't just this karmic mother. You got a hit put out on you, but don't worry because some of you are going to have to stay put. You're going to be a okay. Some of you don't have hits out on you. You could, your spirit animal could be a cat or you could connect to lions or something, or somebody could be a Capricorn or a Leo here or an air sign or, or something like that. But I just keep hearing. Listen, you're protected. Don't worry. Some of you, you're going to get a knock. Somebody's going to get a knock at the door. And they're going to have to go into some type of protection because this karmic mother, this these friends, these friends, because I'm hearing the communities involved as well. Other family members, they they all, they, they you got money on your head. They're watching and stocking, paid to sorts. Okay? Money. They, they all got a hit out on you. I want to scream, but I can't scream because I got neighbors. Okay? But I just keep hearing, I don't want to wait for a long time. Okay, so yeah, somebody, 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 somebody saying they gonna come get their baby. Six of Swords. Somebody may end up moving overseas and be connected back to their royal family. Somebody has royal roots. Somebody is royalty. And somebody, I'm hearing loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Yeah, whoever this divine counterpart is, is she gonna partner up with two of cups? This person is loyal as fuck. And I'm hearing loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. And I'm hearing royalty, royalty, royalty. Yeah, somebody may end up marrying a king or a prince or some shit like that. Or I'm hearing something about Persian. I'm hearing, how do you say that? Malaysia, Malaysian. And I'm not talking about hair weave. I'm talking about somebody made somebody lives overseas or something. Somebody is coming in to take the load off. Somebody wants to partner up and take the load off. Listen, there's about to be a lot of deaths. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna take that as an old man coughing. There's about to be a, a lot of deaths. A lot of flower singing. These people gotta go. Your spirit guy said, warning come before destruction. You keep trying to rage war on my divine feminine, my divine masculine, who I sent here on a mission to heal you guys' bloodline. I'm sorry that you don't remember the time like my chosen one and this, this divine feminine, divine masculine do, this emperor, this emperor. This empress or this emperor, excuse me. I'm sorry that you were put into bondage during slavery. You were stolen from your homeland. Or I'm sorry that you were put into bondage before BC, before Christ or AD, after Christ. I'm sorry. But it's not my problem anymore because I've given you every opportunity to heal your bloodline and make amends with the chosen one. Because I sent them here on a mission to 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 wake y'all up to help you guys, but y'all don't want to do it. So you can bite your nails, you can smoke a bunch of weed, you can pop pills, you can drink lean, you can sip sir, you can smore cocaine. Because somebody gonna die from an overdose here because they've indulged. Somebody is a dope fiend. This could be a brother or a sister, or this could be another family member, or several of your family members. Maybe this mother. Somebody also drinks a lot listen somebody is also very promiscuous there's a lot of shit that your family do that you don't know about these people are, are deceivers and, and witches and warlocks somebody was born into a demonic family but that's okay because God want me to let you know that God sent you here on a G14 classified mission again if you ain't seen the video go watch it it's called the G14 classified mission I posted that a couple of days ago or a week ago or whatever the hell just look for it they're not going to stop your mission, not this lifetime, if this happened to you in a past life. Now, that's not for everybody because this might not have happened to you in a past life. It might have just happened to you this lifetime. Because some of our fellow chosen ones that this is happening to, that, that, that this happened to this lifetime, they could already be deceased. I don't know. But may they rest in peace. God bless the dead. Okay. But this is over and done with. This can no longer be done anymore. Your ancestors are screaming. Your angels are screaming. They're angry because they're saying, yeah, they should be worried. Nine of Swords. They should be worried about this major tower. Because it's about to take place. It's about to happen. And you are protected. Okay? And this private investigator... Because there's three people here. There's a boss, an African. There, I don't know which is which, but there's an African American male that's bald, possibly a light beard or a gold tee. Okay, kind of heavy set, but not really heavy set. There's a Caucasian female, kind of skinny, kind of lanky, kind of puts you in the mind of Cameron Diaz or something like that. And then, then, then you got um. Then you got this uh, uh, Caucasian guy, maybe half breed Spanish, Caucasian, salt and pepper hair. Okay, they're all they're all watching you keep moving forward okay we got the eight of cups here yeah you're uh, listen listen 
Now, all of this, this, look, you're blessed. You're blessed beyond measures because what's coming to you, I don't even think you're going to be able to recognize it or handle it. I, I'm not even going to tell you. I can see some of your blessings, maybe not all, but I'm not going to even tell you what I see. Okay. Now take, begin, remember to take what resonates, leave what don't, because this may not resonate for everybody. You feel what I'm saying? This may not resonate. I mean, this may not resonate for everybody and everything that I said may not resonate with you. So just take what don't, take what resonate, leave what don't, but they spent all your money. With the five of pentacles here, they all in their head. With the five of swords here, they tried to block and stop this blessing from coming to you. You're this empress here, male or female. But spirit is saying enough is enough. Is there anything else you want me to say? Because spirit, I'm ready to go. Okay, come on, y'all. Y'all will have me on this goddamn camera all day. What else is the spirit? Is there anything else? You don't got nothing to fear. Look, you don't got nothing to fear. You don't got nothing to worry about. You are protected, okay? You could be very conscious, okay? You are very much loved by the universe, your ancestors, your spirit guides, okay? And listen, if you still in the prox, prox, and prox, uh, if you're still close to these motherfuckers, get out and get away, please, because these people are trying to block your creativity, block your abundance, block and stop. They're determined to do this. They have a hunger for blood, okay? They're hungry to stop you and take you out and to break you down with this strip card they're determined to cause you pain and to cause you a death you gotta fucking hit out on you you were supposed to been dead and these people are angry okay but they need to take a look at themselves because this this could this could be doing done to somebody that's an earth angel okay or a walking avenger angel somebody that's sweet and loving okay i feel like you're a mystery so if you've already separated from your the, yourself from these people you've become a type some type of mystery they're angry because they i feel like Please be careful dating. Be careful dating because these people could be trying to send lovers towards you or send people towards you, informants and shit. Somebody, I feel like somebody, so some they want somebody to get in your home. They could be sending sending fake lovers, fake friends. You're protected. I feel like they could have done this in the past, send fake lovers and fake friends to do spell work on you, to get in your business. There's so many people that's involved in this. There's so many people that's going to experience deaths, whether that's physical or spiritually. So many people that's going to be taken out because this is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely sickening. You Listen, you have. Listen, Linda. I don't know why Spirit keeps telling me to say that like that. Where did that come from? Napoleon Dynamite or some shit? Listen, Listen, you got a hit put out on you. Angel number 444, 444 on the clock. You got a hit put out on you, okay? But you're protected. You're protected. Get out and get out now. Some of you don't have hits put out on you, but some of you do. Cleanse your home. Cleanse your space. Because, see, look, listen. They can try to put a hit out on you spiritually with magic or physically. They may want to kill you physically or spiritually. But either way it go, nothing can stop you. You all the way up. Continue to cleanse your space. Cleanse your home. Take your spiritual baths. Do your work because you're destined for greatness. You're destined for success. Possibly possibly even destined to be a millionaire. All you're going to have to do, just continue to sit back and rest, rest and rejuvenate. You ain't got nothing to work worry about yeah everything is going to continue continue to flow abundantly in your life period point blank ain't all this disruption and trying to block and stop and getting your energy and ruin and sabotage you and break you down with the shrimp card man fuck that okay period point blank listen if you like this re if you like this reading please like subscribe and share thank you and goodbye bye you guys you got a hit put out on you spiritually or physically bye y'all from your fucked up ass family